in the video what we have noticed is that a, a boy standing in front of the mirror you can see his face inside the mirror he moves his hair the same thing can be observed in the mirror too means a person or an object what it is doing over there that can be seen or visualized in the next medium is considered as reflection okay, in reflection there is presence of object image and axis of reflection these three are the major terms or points of reflection i am lokendra karki this is a part of the assignment of course entitled edme 404 ict in mathematics education of pgde first semester in mathematics at kathmandu university let's start the explanation of reflection using geogebra because i'm going to reflect a triangle with respect to x axis for that i'm going to write a text over here that is reflection on x axis Let me change the text font, it's middle and the bond and the bold. Okay, let's close this one. Reflection on x-axis means the axis of reflection will be uh, the x-axis. We are going to mirror the image with respect to x-axis. Over here, we can see. this line what you can see here this horizontal line as the x axis and then this vertical line as the y axis for this i'm going to draw a triangle one point is over here another point is here next point is here like this avc avc is a triangle Okay, let me yes for this one this side B let me hide the side one eh? leaving up this side for the name of this side um, let me change this color to make me black okay let me move this triangle back to this one then okay it's fine I'm going to make opacity zero and with the triangle ABC oh, to change uh, this coordinate as black this coordinate B also black and this C is also as black and then what I'm going to show is that I'm going to name and the value as you can see over C for point also name and value this B name and value quite easy for us if the value okay is known then it is quite easy for us to learn this one now the topic is what reflection on x-axis reflection on x-axis means this axis will act x axis will act as the axis of reflection for that one we need to are going to use this one reflect about the line reflect about the line for this we need to select the triangle and this triangle with respect to which side this side sorry this 
line x axis you can see the inverted image over here this of the coordinate the coordinate is uh, a prime minus 1 gamma c you can see over here b over here c over here um, let us change its properties uh, color okay first yes i think the color it will be a bit slighter okay let me use this one and the opacity okay 75 percent fine and for this coordinate also i'm going to use the same one okay what you can see over here is that a bc triangle is reflected with respect to x-axis as a prime minus 1 comma minus 6 oh, no, let me change it's with a red one okay it's quite visible if I do read only it's easily noticeable and for this triangle also uh, the second one triangle let me use the red one to the okay it's the 25 percent now fine as we can see over here a triangle ABC is reflected with respect to x-axis as this one okay let's draw a line to make it quite attractive we'll draw a line from object to the image point a to a prime b to b prime and c to c prime now what you can see if we change this coordinate of A, let me change uh, this one. Hey? Um, okay, this line segment. I'll be using dotted line and dotted line, and this this as the dotted line. It will be quite easy to understand. If we change the coordinate of A, then the coordinate of image point will be also changed. If you change of C and the principle of this reflection is that the length of right over here image image distance is equals to object object distance on this principle reflection is based on the principle that image distance is equals to object distance or vice versa i hope that this video will help you in learning as as well as creating a concept of reflection on x-axis